In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the fastest way to make an interactive mock-up using Dreamweaver. So I've got these different pages that I'm going to create a sort of mock-up from. Um, they've been designed in Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever, and output as individual pages. And all I need to do is go into Dreamweaver, and let's start to create. Um, first thing, I think, always create a website or manage a site. So all we really need to worry about is where the location of these files are. I know mine are under downloads and then I have them in this crazy set of folders because that's where I was using them. Alright, so anyway, I've got my folder definition created and I've got all of my files in here. So let's create the first file that we need which is just going to have one image in it and that will be the index just drag it right in, give it an alt tag, that's home, maybe pull that back over so it doesn't look so crazy. Now the next thing that I want to do about this is I do want to center this particular image in the page and so there are a couple things that we can do. Um, if I go to the page properties, just click outside that image, go to page properties, one of the things that we can do is just go ahead and take our margins out always going to be important and I'll just go ahead and do apply. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else in there that I can do. But let me go to the code real quick and you'll see that I have the body up here. Um, last thing that we can do is just add one little thing to that CSS and that would be text align center. This will center that image into the page real simple to do. Alright, now the next thing that we want to do is figure out what we're going to name this page. This page is going to be home. So let me save this as home or index. Doesn't really matter. And uh, let's start to add some of the interactivity. Now I have to figure out what pages I have. I have blog, single, um, comics, archive, and authors. So let's see, authors there's, what is that page? I should know. About the authors. So that's the about and then archive. So just wanted to make sure I knew which page that was. Okay, so let's start making our hotspots. In order to do the hotspots, you have to select an image, then you just go to the hotspot tool and you create one. So it's going to come up with this warning each time. Not a big deal. But this is going to go to archive dot html this one is going to go to about yes I know this is going to go to the home page the logo this is going to go to the blog All right, now as soon as I've got these, of course, I can make them a little bit better, just about a little bit better fitting and whatever else if I want to make sure. Doesn't have to be exact, um, but it's just kind of gives you a guide. So this is the home page, and now I need to start making my different pages. So I'm going to do file, save as, and this is going to be called archive. Now with archive, what I want to do is switch out the image. An easy way to do this is to select the image here and then I can use the Pickwick just to go to the archive. So now it's using archive instead. I'll save that. Let me do save as. Um, let's see what else do we have. We have blog. So I'm going to change this to blog instead. You'll see that's the main blog entry. And now I'm going to add one more on this page real quick. And that is when I click on that, it should go to a single blog. So I can actually point to a file, which actually I'll just do call it blog single because I didn't, haven't created the file yet. So let me do save save as blog single 
Now on the blog single, this image is going to link to the single blog instead. And I can take off that big slice that we have here in the middle because this is a single entry and so um, I will, wouldn't need that. But you know we could do some other things if we wanted like read the archives to go back to something or about. So we have other comment, um, other links we could make if we really wanted to but that's going to be good. So blog single, I've got blog done, I've got the archive done, I've got the home and all I really need is about. So let's save as about and change out that image to about. Let's see, that must be the authors. About the authors or characters. Absolutely. So there we go. We'll save about. Now I've got all my pages created. I can close those all. I could certainly organize my um, stuff just a little bit more. Maybe make a folder called images and take all my images and put them into that folder. And what I love about Dreamweaver is it'll fix all my links. And so now I've got a really well um, designed and um, organized simple prototype just created in um, Dreamweaver. Um, let me go to the home page, of course, and I'll hit F12 to open this up in a browser and test it out. So here it is. I can click on the different pages. So that takes me, oh, I must not have given it an actual home.html. That's terrible. But now I can do that. Click on that. Go back to blog. Go to the about. Go to archive. And I've got some simple active um, interactivity. Of course, home page isn't going to work because I just linked it to home, not to home HTML. And that's something you'd want to fix and double check before you go too fast like I'm doing in this tutorial. But we've created a very simple prototype of a website. Now the exact same thing could be done with images that are used for like an entire website like let's say somebody does something like this. Here's a whole bunch of Photoshop files somebody created and they created all of these different prototypes. So it can get a little bit more extreme where you have a lot more pages that you're going to. Um, that just depends upon your workflow and how you like to, to do things. But uh, it's a simple way of creating an interactive prototype um, for a website. Thanks.